Yo, greetings and greetings and greetings and welcome to The Breakdown with DJ Odyssey. And I'm DJ Odyssey, of course. And today, people, um, we're doing mixing. So it's a mixing track. It's not mixing as a whole. So I'm just, I just want to get you to understand some other elements before I actually say, yo, people, let's do a mixing tutorial. A full mixing tutorial will come very late. For now, I'm just giving you, like, um, ideas into mixing. And then by the time we do a full mixing of the song or a beat, and then we will all understand some of the things that I'll be adding inside the beat. You understand me? So today we're doing side chaining. Uh, so with side chaining, the main idea is getting your maybe your kicks and your your bass line uh, or your kicks and your eight or eights not to clash. You know? um, because you find a place where a kick and and a bass line they play at the same time and then the problem with these two is that they occupy the same dynamic range in a, in a beat and then so you want to make sure that people can hear your kick and people can also hear your 8 see that's that's the main thing so uh side chaining is is, is like compression basically well what i mean by compression sometimes uh you want to make sure when your kick hits and then your bass line is that the volume goes a little bit down every time your kick hits you can do that manually to using um, automations or you can just use a compressor or a limiter or something like that that will read that okay you have a kick banging and then your 8 to 8 will just get compressed a little bit and then it moves back and then I think that's the main idea and then so i'll demonstrate it for you on how you actually do side chaining on fl studio so without wasting time and let's get into this uh, i'll find some kicks drums and snares and then we can actually work on this let me find uh, a kick i use this one for this example when i'll find a nice clap or a snare I think this will be nice I'll uh, just put it on two here so I'll just play like this let me put this on let's say 90 we'll make a, a normal hip-hop beat or oh, drums drum loop J <laughs> right, that's how it is all right and um, you have this and now you want uh, an 808 uh, what happens with 808 is just get into and find 808 first I think I'll take this one uh, it's on F and what you do you probably want to put it on F this is F and let's say you say cut self and then you make them have this and then we're just going to do fast on 808 we're not doing this okay you want to do this as well so that a place like that okay cool and then so i'll put pattern one here maybe for the next eight bars and then i'll go to next pattern is where the 808 is gonna be and then great so i'll say this so if i use f let's say let's use a you know and then you want this to go with the 808 so i think i made my 808 sit right here i also do this so the 808 will go with the kick and then so i'll put it here i'll put this here maybe they can sit down like at the top here and then we'll just duplicate that it's just a little simple beat with just kick snare and then it then it goes like so say song mode and let's play this So fine, you have this kick and 808 over there. And then, now, 
I'm going to put the 808 on pattern 3. So on pattern 1, uh, let's say yes, kick. I'll just say, um, how do you guys do this? Just want to channel routing. Okay, let's highlight everything here. Just so that it names all these things. And then channel routing and then root selected. So now we know the kick, snare and everything is just here. And we just go like that. So cool. Let's put uh, an EQ on a kick. Uh, I'll try to zoom it for you. And we'll play that. You see where the dynamics of the kicks are. You see where the dynamics of the kicks are, right? And let's put the eight, the, an EQ on the on the eight to eight as well. Let's zoom this for you. So you can see. So most of the dynamics are here, but the kick is only like here and the 808 also occupies this. But normally you don't want these uh, frequencies here. So you want to cut them off like that, maybe until 50 hertz. So the problem now becomes like, okay, fine, you, you did until 50 hertz. The kick also will start at 50 hertz and they occupy the same um, frequency range. So now you have a problem because they play at the same place. What do you do? You need a side chain. See this kick, you can like right click into where the 808 is and then say side chain to this track. So now you have this. And then now you put in a limiter, a footy limiter here. But you come here and say compress. And then you, on this side chain, you can right click there and say kick here. And then now it will pick up the kick when it comes here. As you can see, you can tell the kick is hitting here. And then now, what you want to do is every time a kick hits, um, it comp like uh, the 808 get compressed. So you come to this threshold, you reduce it until maybe where you see like this is the way the kick is, right? And you can see this. Great. And then now you can do the ratio, like the compression ratio. You can take it as far as you want until you hear like this is where I want this thing to get compressed. So now let's see something and then. So now if I do the ratio like very high and then and the threshold goes down. You can hear like the, the 808 gets compressed in a way. So it means now it gets chopped. And then now you look at your attack and release. And then if you make your release uh, like not too fast, like you see this, the compression is here on the gray thingy. So you can tell like, okay, fine. The compression, it compresses very slowly. It's just like a little bit. It comp You understand what I'm saying? It's, now let's play this one more time. So let's bring it back to to this a better ratio. Maybe at four here. Yeah. And then let's try to show it until maybe here and then. So basically that's side chaining. Just like that. And you you have a nice way of making sure your kick and your and your 808, uh, like don't, don't, they don't clash. So even if I put the 808 at a very high volume at the same volume with, with the kick, you still hear the kick when I play this.
no, basically that's how side chaining is done. You, but I'm not saying do it like the last the last one I just did now. I'm just showing you how the I make sure that the 808 gets louder. Amen. But no matter how loud it got, every time the kick hits, you will still hear the kick hitting. And that way you get you have your kick and your 808 playing at the same time. But they don't clash. And I think that completes my, my, my tutorial for today. And then, so for my next piece that I make, you will understand why the kick hits harder. And then, you know, why isn't it clashing with the, the 808? That's the first trick you need to learn when it comes to those. And then we'll come into another mixing trick. Tip. And yo, thanks for watching. And please, man, subscribe to my channel if you're learning something from this. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.